Hello everyone, could do the Ouija here, and I'm back. I'm solving this real good puzzle. So, uh, did a little bit of wandering around here off camera, and, uh, turns out I probably should have not just immediately turned around as soon as I found an interactable object in the, <coughs> in the maze. Now, in running around more of this maze, I have found a couple more of those blocks, and there are, like, suspicious nooks. Oh, I wonder if this suspicious nook is good enough. Because I'm, like, worried that there's cool Korok puzzles I'm going to miss. But there's, like, six big holes that you can dunk those into with, um, Magneso. And I just don't think they do anything. I'm glad that I somehow got so turned around I lost the stupid block. Despite reloading, so I was right next to it. But, yeah, okay, I'll... Either the weird nook up here is actually where it's supposed to go, and I'll get a prize, and then I will... Okay, that's not going to stop being a dead end. Um, I will get uh, really sidetracked and try to find nooks for all the blocks that are in here, or that's the thing that won't happen, and I won't do that. So it's sort of win-win. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't really think so. So my running theory is that since there were three of them I found on this side of the maze, there's a six total, and if you put all of them in the freaking things in the middle, it'll do a Korok, maybe? Which would be a very elaborate Korok, but I wouldn't put it past him to have a couple of those. Uh, nothing else has jumped out at me to be what to do with them. It might literally just be a case of me seeing an interactable object that's just there to, like, oh, you, you know you can go through here, right? You just move this. And because it doesn't occur to me not to finagle with everything in the world, I just got really sidetracked and caught up with it. I think I'm going the right way still. So yeah, there's like this. Oh, wait, there's... No, that isn't a real ledge. Is there anything good back here? This sort of interest interesting texture shift, but as far as I can tell, it doesn't. The textures don't actually do anything except confuse me and sometimes interfere with the ability to uh, bring the blocks with you. Also, uh, you can scale these walls if it's not raining. I did. I, I've been like watching periodic, uh, like, gameplay analysis videos of this that don't have major spoilers, and I learned what one of the other Divine Beast powers does, and I think that decided for me what one I want to do next. Uh, I don't know if I really want to talk about that. I don't know if I don't want to talk about it either. Um, I think I'm about to get to the right place. Yeah. Yep, so that really wasn't all that bad. I don't know what's in the other side of the maze. Um, I don't really want to do that right now. There's other stuff I'd like to look at, and I'm not going to record for a super long time, but... Que sera as they say. So yeah, I can't believe it. Oh, that's pretty cute. Why does my off-draft work? Oh, that actually did work. That was nice. So yeah, uh... I'm gonna feign surprise when I see this beautiful boy. Uh, I do like this. That's not in the chest, and it's cool. It's, I'm guessing, just a better version of the Flame Blade. It'd be kind of weird if it wasn't. Oh, also, there's a infinite stamina joke where, like, starting up the whistle thing doesn't reduce your speed, but it does restore your stamina because it considers you going back to regular walking or something. Um, honestly, it's more effort than it's worth. Uh, I realize I should probably be using the Master Sword. Also, oh, okay, that's interesting. Um, I think based on proximity to Guardians, the Master Sword gets double damage. I also found out that you can bully those Hecocopter Guardians really, really easy with the Master Sword. And honestly, just with arrows, I sort of feel stupid for getting so obsessed with the 
shield trick. I'm guessing they gave a torch here because you need a torch here, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, well, if it's a fire puzzle, I feel like the flame tongue probably works just as good. Yeah, this is a weird little area because it just drops you back down here abruptly. I don't know if there's any reason to read into that. And, uh, yeah, these still are not real torches. Anything good back here? I'm curious if this is going to be a blessing or not. I'm guessing the fact they've just dumped a shrine outside it and it wasn't really all that much work to get to. Other than it being amassed in a maze. No, well, I don't know. Most of the time when I complete a overworld thing to get to it, it's a blessing. Except for... I don't think that was the case for the flower field one. But maybe I just don't remember. I guess there is not very much time until I will find out. Okay. Eh, that was, I guess, kind of tough. Um, so... I hope it's a weapon that I can't use. Oh, that's pretty neat. Cute. Cute. I wonder if that one could be upgraded without animal products. I wonder how significant that attack up is. Well, fun day. Honestly, I think I'm going to just go for the third stamina bar next. I don't feel like I need more health. Like, my armor upgrades really... Like, I assume that not much does more damage than the Guardian laser, and now that those don't one-shot me, it really just sort of feels overpowered with Mipha's grace and the copious amount of full health food I have. And there are, like, active benefits of having too much stamina. Oh, oh, that's nifty. What? What the hecky is that? That definitely was not there before. Oh, and yeah, like, it wasn't open before either, so obviously that part is a prize for beat. But what's down here? Is this... Oh. Oh, that's really cute. Um, how many of these are alive? Just this... Yeah, so let's see. Master Sword, Rock Hard, yep. This is pretty convenient. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and this is a secret underground area. I wonder if you could get here otherwise and have this be the way you get in or what I, I really don't know what's going on here to be honest uh, let's cheat and figure out which one of these are alive I don't really want to scavenge slowly okay got a few live wires left I wonder if you get anything <laughs> ooh Oh, I kind of like that. Well, I guess the lock run, the lock lock, if you will, is over. What? It? Guardian resist up. Ooh, nifty. And that's not a bad downgrade either. Like, it still has most of the defensive power. So, uh, yeah, let me remember. Poke. Oh. Oh, they all awake. Because one of them is leggy. Okay. Wait, no, neither of those are leggy. Okay. Well, I'm glad after talking shit on, like, just absolute shit on Guardians, I made it to eat my words. It would feel a little mean otherwise. Um, I do have Mifa's grace up, so I should try to just not be a total, complete fuck idiot. Uh... Oh, did they just all get mad at me when I took the circlet? That sort of makes sense. I'm gonna try to put this one between the other two and me. That actually seems like that's gonna work pretty well. Jump slash, jump slash, 
Okay, so the Jump Slash doesn't do double damage, at least not to them. Although, since the Master Sword's already dealing double damage, I don't know exactly what that means. Yeah, okay, Master Sword does make these guys not so bad when there's only one of them, but I guess their trick is that they are in groups more often than not. Okay, that's a bad angle of approach. Um, can I snipe? Actually, yeah, this... I do have enough regular arrows, I don't feel bad about this. Um, and I need to use up some of my bows. Uh, I'm like, hmm, do I want to keep the crappy bow? Or, like, save it for a situation where I'm wasting arrows as if this isn't sort of that situation. And it does crit when you get them in the eye, so yeah, these suckers aren't so bad. If I had been smarter in the first place, I would have, uh, actually been just fine. So, which one is the Livy Walkie one? So is that one alive too if I go over to it? I mean, I can't think of any other reason it would be cry um, stasis. Stasis bait. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Good stealth. No, bad stealth. Are they just like perma- angry because they know I got the chest, I wonder. I don't know why I'm being so stupid cautious about this. Like, the other allegedly living one didn't wake up during my shenanigans. I don't know why that one would. Oh, that was weird. It even, like, drew the light in and didn't finish because I went undercover. Okay, as much as I was just talking about wanting to waste my arrows, there's no reason to do that when I can just clean it up like this. Oh, yeah, I also... wait, no, that was the last part that I recorded that I showed the brutalization. Honestly, I feel sort of bad about it. Is that a thing back there? I'm trying to think... Other than, like, the very specific enemy encampments with, like, the eyes chests... Uh... I can't think of too many... Places where, uh, like you beat a bunch of enemies and then a chest happens. It's always just, uh, no leg for you. Sorry. Oh, that's really sad. Oops. Thank me. Oh, they get, like, really screwed up if you do that while they're already messed up. That being said, they're pretty competent even in that little waddle, so... Yeah, I guess they're not, like, trivial enemies by any stretch, they're just, like... After the first couple encounters and, like, oh, you have to pay hundo, hundo rupees for the fancy guardian bow. Gosh. Yeah, uh, this is a this is a good. I'm like having a whole character arc here with like hubris and stuff. I kind of want to see how much worse it gets at scrabbling the less legs it has, and that feels just really mean. So I guess strafing around it and then shooting it while it's not moving seems to be the best way to deal with them. But also, breaking off their legs seems like a good way to deal with them. Well, playing like an idiot like this sort of makes up for, uh... Sort of makes up for making myself this stupid pile of tasty foods. Let me try this. That cut off its leg? Why don't I just sever its leg, please? There we go. Although the shields actually, or the sword beams actually don't, um, stun it. Okay, yeah, so 
I think I've, like, just said the exact same thing and come to the exact same conclusion, like, three times in the last five minutes, but... I like Guardians. They're enjoyable to fight. I, I almost always enjoy, like, when destruction of something is a mechanic, and, uh... Enemy parts destruction is no... no, uh... no different. Let's hope today is no different. Um, what else? Yeah, I'll, I'll fight a hecacopter just so it'll say something about my ability to do it. I guess I could have, uh, if I was having trouble chasing after them, used that cryonis thing that I have. I don't know, that seems a little cheaty. Oh, yeah, the Scorpions aren't super powerful. How does this work? Pretty well. Yeah, so I guess the most efficient way is to, like, not want to be a weirdo who likes to watch them scrabble around on not very many legs. And just use their really easy hit stun to immobilize them so they can't move around and be hard to stun. Because, yeah, now at this point they're just a glorified stationary one. By glorified, I mean sort of depressing. Oh, I should try the spin attack. I wonder if that does more damage. I mean, it should. Also, this quick spin isn't... I know I was talking about that. Did I actually show it? I think I did. Like, really threw me off to do one short part earlier today. So used to just binging. Um, well, other than fun and farming, that was mostly uh, congratulatory. I don't know. That probably was not anywhere near a word that makes sense to use in that context, but whatever. This is still a cool little area. I wonder, is there anything good hiding? I don't think there would be anything that I could magnesis but couldn't stasis. But you never know. That was a fungin. Yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna fight one hecacopter just to say a lot about my ability to do it and then stop messing around here. I wonder if I'll survive with this. I always had a lot of bonus hearts. I think I should be able to. Oh yeah, so I also have a fun cheater's method for taking out hecacopters without abusing the Master Sword. And actually, this is the only method I'm like super comfortable with, so I feel sort of bad about wasting bomb arrows, but on the other hand, I have infinity free bomb arrows for my stupid amiibos, and I don't want to trivialize like a real boss. So trivializing these guys I fed super bad on earlier, and nobody knew. It seems like a reasonable compromise. I'm trying to figure out the best place to fight, probably on this edge of the maze. Yeah, I'll, I'll look, I'll go to this edge of the maze and, like, scan down with, um, Magneso, see if there's any chests or anything worth looking at. I like the heavy winds out here. So, hello, do you want to fight? Uh, I think, um, I could get the attention of sword beams. They have pretty good range. I say that. Hey, pay attention to me. <coughs> so yeah, this is the joke you could do to them. If you do enough damage to their little pods, they break off, and then they eventually fall. Probably a pretty huge waste of bombing arrows here, but at least using the forest bow makes it only a third of as much of a waste. So yeah, let's see if that does get its attention. Not really. Yeah, so one of those broke off. Oops. That was close. Well, I'm glad that I didn't miscalculate my defense. Yep, there we go. 
Where he falls, nobody knows. Except me, I saw it. Do a just really good plunging attack. Dark Souls, everybody. I'm the first person to make a joke about calling a game that isn't Dark Souls, Dark Souls. There's an entirely real possibility that anything good down here is not something that you could see from a crappy angle from above. So yeah, I'm gonna stop messing around. <coughs> You should call this The Legend of Zelda Mess of the Wild ing around. Okay, that's what I thought that was. I don't know what else I possibly could have thought it would be, but. Meh. I'm gonna try to land on this guy because I wasn't having luck with it earlier. Yeah, ooh, this game does, the game does not want me to do this. <laughs> oh. This is pretty sad. Sorry, they're not so good at rotating their neck when they busted. This isn't even cathartic, it just seems mean. Also, you definitely do not get hurt by these explosions for whatever that's worth to you. Thanks, I could help. So, like, is there any point to being down here? Does that weird hole in the wall gonna do a Korok? Am I missing something really obvious here? Is it a doom wall where I have to talk to it and it goes up? I've spent like 20 minutes here and done like nothing. I guess time for another arbitrary viewer question that no one's going to answer and doesn't really matter and is kind of implicit to the series and uh... Even if all of those things weren't true, would still be sort of self-congratulatory on the basis that this isn't going up for like three weeks. And it is. Do you want me to do boring shit like this where I'm screwing around but just having a good time and doing a, you know, live reaction tweet feed? Or to don't do that? You decide. Uh, this is like the one that's kind of good for some reason, but this one is kind of good in being more durable, and now I have a weapon of good durable, the Mastered Sword. Yeah, and I have to say, like, I think, I don't know who it was, if it was John's Quisition or what? I, I've used the master Sword so much, and it's not even damaged. I guess that's not, like, a great metric, because I think it just says damaged when, like, three more attacks will break it. Not, like, as a percentage of max or anything, but... Eh. I'm like... Yeah, you know what? I, I'm gonna get that stupid Korok I marked because it's bugging me, and then I'm gonna go do that Peak Shrine because that's bugging me. And then I will finally get the Death Mountain Tower. And honestly, after that, I kind of want to go get the weird Western Tower that I marked. Because, uh... Okay, I guess I am going to just break the break the spoil on that one. So don't listen if if you're only using me to know about this game and don't want to know anything before I do except I already do know it before before my character in game knows. And that is uh that the bird divine beast ability I don't know exactly how it works, but I know that it just lets you spawn an updraft, and that is good and fun, and I want to do that, so I will do that. And also the, like, thing I say every time I catch a glimpse of that bird that I want it to be stationary and a big laser. Oh yeah, I also talked to an NPC that was saying, like, when the three trees line up, go out to sea, and you find a beautiful secret, and I feel like that might just be the thing that I did with Cryonis. I guess while I'm doing stuff here, I'll check that out. Just a prank rock. Oh, I was like scared for a second. I forgot the I forgot the timing on that. Bye bye. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna... I got... Turn it around. Yeah, so I'll go up there, look at the stupid trees, and just, like, 
going on that vector defined by them collinear to them. Oh yeah, also, to solve my age-old debate about if the climbing gear makes you more good at climbing or just more fast at climbing, I'm pretty sure it makes you more good at climbing. Because I noticed that the jump takes like exactly a third of the wheel, and I think it takes a little less than a third of the wheel when you have the climber pants on. Do I have those on right now, or am I all... Yeah, I'm... I have the... peekaboo badge. Wait, what? Even with your current food and clothes. What is that supposed to mean? I don't have anything. Oh, wait, does it mean... I, I don't know if it's telling me a joke or not. Does very cold mean I need, like, three stars resist? But in that case, wouldn't I get a total of two star and it okay? Yeah, it looks to be the case. Oh, that's... I just noticed that when you have a level of cold resist, um... It decreases the scary part of the... Stamina... Or, stamina meter, thermometer. Yeah, okay, I watched a glitch video and it said that, like, oh, you can walk up steep slopes and regain your climbing... I don't know if that's a glitch. I don't think it is. It's just that... Yeah, I guess there's no reason that you would ever want to climb if you can walk, it's just... It would also be annoying if it dismounted you all the time for no reason. What the hell is going on up there? Is that a... That's Mount Wonairu. Oh, there's a boy here, that's good to know. Damn! I want to see what's going on up there. I like that Borby bor thing. I know that ain't a divine beast, but uh, I don't really care. What am I to do here? Can I get to that? Do I need the bird thing I just spoiled? Or I guess I can climb the tree. I'm having a little bit of trouble death perceiving it. Yeah, I think I just climbed the tree. Young man, there's no need to feel down, I said. Young man, climb a tree from the ground. Um, I don't know if you can, like, jump off the side of tree. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So you totally can just Mario 64 it. That was fun. Thanks, I could help. Bye bye. Okay, so, yeah, if I was going exactly in that direction, okay, yeah, there probably is just some weird, less obvious shrine collinear to these then. If I see a shrine over there, I will probably just go to it, because I kind of want to checkpoint closer to Mount Lanaru. Oh yeah, good news for, for the hardcore fans who have watched all the parts of this and didn't just jump to this part because they wanted to know how to be bad at fighting guardians for 20 minutes. They were looking for walkthroughs for that. Um, if you remember, the first several parts, several is actually like an understatement, but um, first many parts, I, I was sick and cough. And sounded bad, and you'll be thanks to know that after, like, a week of recovery and upward trajectory to the point where I wasn't feeling too bad for a couple days, um, I've started coughing again. For no real reason. Like, it's not productive coughs. It's, it's great. So yeah, like, the guy specifically said, oh, where the trees become one, keep going into the wet water there. And I, s yeah, it's talking about that. Oh, that island is, like, not on the map. Okay, that's sort of tricky. I guess that's worth checking out. Is this a... Oh, is that a unique type, or is it just, um, camoed? I don't think I've seen those before. 
so... I'm guessing it's not gonna love this. <laughs> Holy crap, it really didn't like it that much! Oof! I didn't like it much either! I guess cold resistance might make you take more damage from fire, or fire just does a lot of damage. One of the two. Anyway, I need to be careful until, um, Mipha's Grace comes back. Holy crap! Asshole! Okay, no, it just unexists them. That's pretty funny. Um, that being said, jeez, those suckers hit hard. I need to stop relying on soul hearts. I guess the thing where I was like, I don't want to have enough hearts maybe put me in a bit of a predicament where using my good health's food suddenly becomes more tempting than it would have been. Um, darn it. I don't know if that blipping was the resists or what. And see how I made like a billion heat resist things because I thought I was going to do Death Mountain because I said that very clearly. I keep seeing the freaking Hyrule castle stuff and thinking it's um a shrine. It would be cool if uh, I had a second piece of keep keepy warm clothing. I wonder if there's keepy cool clothing. Um, I kind of wonder if that's what the Gerudo gear does. Although I also kind of wonder if keepy warm and keepy arid are different things. Okay, I got a blip. That's good, I guess. I'm still, like, stupid about not knowing how exactly the shrine sensor works. So I guess there might be one over in, like, this direction. Because, you know, honestly, I'm going to freaking solve this problem instead of just bemoaning it every time it comes up and is a major part of the exploration. So... No blippy on shrine. And... It's not lit up at all. I think it was lit up with like one or zero bars, but still lit up when I was back there. So this is probably not a direction. I'm just like kind of curious what's over here, if anything. Okay, so like probably 30 co rocks. Uh, ooh, some ice juice. -jus. They're pretty. Um. And then, where the um, mountain ends? Okay, so I don't care that much about that direction. Will this actually load me where I want to be? Because I know sometimes I've tried funny stuff with loading, and it doesn't let me actually show up where I was. But that was, like, relatively funny stuff. Like, I think, in the middle of climbing, so... Yeah, that's... assuming that would be fine. Oh, that's cute. I can see the little shrine all the way down there. This is a... this game has so many beautiful vistas. Windows vistas, that is. Okay, so... is it that secret island out there? I don't think that island's real, to be quite honest. That looks like an island that's there, so there isn't literally nothing once you go outside of the bounds of uh, intended exploration area. So I'm gonna check this direction for blippy blippy on um, shrine sensor, and also because it just seems like there might be a shrine somewhere on the way up here. I might just go talk to this guy. Uh, I do not need to waste my great flame blade for this. Let's just. I have so many like Zvihanders, and I don't really like them as much. Oh, that, that's cute. I think I knew they did that. It's only got the charge on them. Can I, like... Oh, white choo-choo jelly. Oh, did I... Was it, like, a... 
It might have been a loading screen hint that referenced white choo choo jelly. I thought I had actually encountered them already somehow. Maybe I made one by mistake. Well, no, because it was the first time I got the white choo choo jelly. I was thinking I might have made it by mistake by using like the ice rod on a regular choo choo. And I'm about to start freaking kill. So. That's not great. That was with my cold resist. Um, is it so cold that I can't be? Yeah, it is definitely so cold that I can't be here without two layers of cold resist, and I do not have two layers of cold resist. So... It really wouldn't be that big of a deal for me to heal through it. I don't want to do that, but I will actually just climb up here just to see if there's like an obvious shrine that I could take advantage of. Oh, it's auto-saving me, so... I don't know if I should take that as a threat or a... happy... Maybe I can just talk to this guy. If this is just like a thing where you fight a bad guy... Okay, I can totally talk to it. I was mostly joking, I kinda thought it would just be like that, um, Akala Tower where there was some goop. Oh, this is just a sick friend. Oh, this is the third dragon, ain't it? Pretty funny, ain't it? Uh-oh. Unless there's, like, other... No, okay, or... Well, I don't know, maybe there are other, other springs like this. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So... Let me get a... get a good snapshot of this before I do anything. I'm actually checking out the Piclopedia should, uh... help me determine... Yeah, okay, so it is the same as the other two, it's just really screwed up. Neat. Um... I think, I think I'm adequately prepared for this. Um... I wonder if the Master Sword will get powered up when I start fighting it. It looks kind of like a Master Sword thing. Do you like it when I do this? Do I have to... Oh, and this is the photo spot too, okay. I didn't recognize it because this thing wasn't here. Do I just have to talk to the photo spot? It doesn't look like I'm ag Oh no, I'm aggroing it. Wait, did I help? Are you just Oh it's just a sick dragon and not a No, it is a it's a mad dragon now. At the very least it's a dragon that won't let me trivially find it. I'm just gonna trigger a cutscene in the middle of this. Ah oh, boo, they 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 figured my plan out. Do I have enough garden orbs to do a thing right now? I don't remember if I have three or four. Oh well. Maybe not being a complete idiot could be interesting. So, I guess I can just get up there and shoot. Is he just gonna circle? He's not gonna shoot off ice balls or anything? The one that wasn't dangry was shoot off balls. But I guess I wasn't having to aim quite as precisely on that one. Yeah, look at this cool glitch that this area that I can stand on but wasn't standing on is now being standed on. Take that helpful, informative YouTube video that isn't bad memes or game theories that I enjoy. It's really more of an exploit than a glitch. Oh no, that one's right on his little cloaca. Uh, hopefully, if all goes well, I'll remember to name this part uh, Cloaca Up and See Me Sometime? Eh, maybe saying that would be if things go well is a little presumptuous. 
That pun isn't as good as it was in my head when I didn't think about it at all. I hope a blessing pop out of here when I kiss the dragon. Hello. Get zap. Oh, you are not small. You are just far away. The forest bow is actually probably pretty good for this because it uh triples my chance of hitting it. It doesn't one-shot it like the Master Sword? Oh no, yeah, it does. So I guess this is sort of like the game's tutorial that you can shoot these dragons for fun and profit. Although I'm guessing that right now he's too cursed to drop the scales or anything. Okay. Uh, giving me flashbacks to Twin Mold, although... Not super tense. Oh, is he gonna go back to sleep and I didn't do it in fast enough? Or does he move every time I get one? These are beautiful Rayquazas. This one is shiny Rayquaza. Are those magic updrafts to make this... Oh, I guess the dragon makes magic updrafts so you can follow it easy. Hey, look at me remembering that I have a mechanic... That wasn't very good. Oops! I forgot that bullet time. Oh! Hey, thanks for more bullet time. For whatever reason that happened. Oh, let me... Zorp? Oh, man, I don't have spread shot anymore. Uh, do you got any more dicks? Whoops! That last step's a doozy. I wonder if this game has any kind of, like, generosity built into it, or if I'm legitimately just, like, very min-maxed to not die from things that should probably be killing me. Schwarp? Oh, that was actually closer than I thought it would be. Oh, what? Did I not hit it in the eye? Okay. Okay. Okay, well, that was pretty good timing. Not sure if this is the start of a new part or I'm splicing it into that last one, but not only- I, I broke so hard, I fell so hard, Link's kneecap shattered, and my capture device shattered, so... Nah, I'm not happy about that, per se, but... It's... Not a huge deal. It, I'm happy that it's, like, constantly rendering. Can I be a smartass and, like, get the hardest one and climb up there before breaking the first one and waking him up. I think I can be- oh, and I didn't show it off, but- or actually I sort of showed it off. The memory glow goes away if you get close to that. Also, huh, this is weird, some sort of alternate slopid path for people who don't want to just, uh, climb up sheer slopes? That doesn't really make sense in this game, but okay. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't need sword beams. Can I freak him out by... No touchy. Okay. Okay, I, sorry. Sorry I touched. I'm just looking for your secret dick. Because I feel like the head one shouldn't be that bad to get. I don't know why I feel that. I might regret this decision, but it's a decision that's already made and I'm not... Holy shit! He did not like me trying that. I guess they didn't think people would do this when there's like a giant boss weak point literally staring them down. They didn't know my gaming prowess. And now I actually am going to use the sword beam, so... Worth... Ding... Dong... Come on. Uh, I don't want to waste the forest dollar's bow. It might not have a real hitbox yet. That's entirely possible. Yeah. Is there a... Is there a... Intended order of these? Perhaps. Oh. Can I just be funny? Oh, yeah, of course you close that eye. Rude. Oh! That was very cold water! 
So for the record, I didn't have any other funny epic fails or anything. I'm just cutting out loading screens when they're not relevant. Um, get in there. there we go. I'm curious if there's like a split second where you could get a second one. Got, gotta get those speedrunner tactics. So for here, if I have like a really dead eye shot, I should be able to get the head eye. Right. Is it even open? Was there an intended order of these that I just like somehow missed? Where are you going, bud? Oh, I can't believe that missed. Um. Yeah, okay, I can't really get the kind of angle I would need from here. Oh, I can sort of speed things up this way, though. Uh, it's not quite good enough here. It's, like, enough to keep me afloat. I mean, it's presumably faster than running up here would have been, but it's not, like, super exaggerated, helpful gusts like it was to get over to that other spot. So, I am happy with head and tail being the last two. Those seem like they should, in some sense, be the easier ones to get. And is this one open yet, or does he have to completely go to his new spawn point? I'm thinking it's the latter, but... I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, this is a fun little minigame. Wish I didn't feed so hard, but... I guess better than the... Yeah, actually, it would have really sucked if my capture device crapped out in the middle of the cutscene for the memory, so I guess I should be grateful. I'm definitely good enough at this game to do this. Why was I... Oh, is, is his funny air puffs giving me boosts when I go into them? Okay, if they are, then where are they at? Okay, there they at. I feel like the tail is probably going to be easier than the head, so... Womp. Um. I need to be a little more careful about that. Mwah! Just like Dark Souls. Take it to the bank, boys. This one's a Dark Souls. To see why, if, if I was lying there last time about having some epic fails I cut out, or lack thereof, why would I have showed that last one where I died the same way I always die and didn't learn from my mistake? I think the trick is I just, like, have faith that there's an updraft, and also I'm used to, like, even when you're out of stamina, having that gimme parachute. Alright, I'm gonna go for the same order. I'm just gonna use the frenetic bow to make up for being bad at aiming. Damn it, he is definitely a lot more further away than in he is small, I'll say that much. I wonder if different bows have different, like, power that they shoot the arrows with. This one sort of feels like it's a little bit faster and like in a certain mechanical sense having it be faster because it's not um, tripling the arrows makes sense but on the other hand there's also like the clear parts in his flight path where it's easy to hit any arbitrary one so Oh, there's a shrine down there. Okay, cool. I can do that and then get back here fast. Where is that exactly? Uh... Uh... What exactly was my path here? Okay, well, I can go to that later. That is not anywhere near where I thought it was. I got a little turned around with that whole spiral mountain business. 
Yeah, okay, I don't know how I got turned around that bad. I guess it's just because I was looking at a dragon for a while. So I'm guessing that if you're further temperature down in the temperature hole, that was the precise terminology I wanted to use. Um, like, I'm assuming I'm taking damage at a reduced rate compared to if I didn't have any resist. I think I want to land here and not die. And then use a draft. Okay, I don't... I can't even see when I'm getting these drafts. I hope he goes back to the spring for the last one. Did that work? Don't eat. Don't do a bite. Oopsie. Oh. That was a little bit of a close one. So, like, when he leaves, will that become an updraft? Or is it only when he goes up that it's an updraft? I'm not sure of the exact relation between his movements and the drafts. Oh, he's going further down. Okay. Well, that ain't so bad. So, I guess I ended up exploring this direction after all. I think this is... Yeah, this looks like it's where I was messing around earlier. a good opportunity. Maybe there. Oh gosh. Ah, threw me off. Ah, that threw me off. <laughs> oh wow, this is a perfect way to harvest wood. Oh good, I auto-saved. I'm not sure if I would actually not just spawn at the beginning of this thing anyway, but... Can I make that? Well, I can make this. I say oh so confidently. Alright. Please warp me back to where I need to go. Oh, this is a cute guy when he's all heal up. Is it going to be a different color? Hooray! Not shiny anymore. Well, that's going to hurt the resale value. They're actually called premium, not holofoil. Cha. Well, geez, if you're okay with it. Loose a single arrow, eh? I like the sound of that. Three of arrow equal three of prize? That's what I'm hoping for. You all right, buddy? Alright, well, hopefully I was able to edit that beautifully, such of, s such of this that it wasn't an abrupt cut, but my capture device, uh, the USB fell out again. I don't know what could possibly be happening because there is definitely no one making any sort of, like, movement in any way that could be affecting that wire. God, I heard, like, the cryonis noise, and it sounded a little bit like the Windows, your USB got screwed up noise. I did already. Boo. So, I guess there are springs like that for the other two. I wonder what the, um... Other ones would do, and whether it would be better to do that, or to, uh, use it in cooking. 
Also, I guess that was never a flashback site, even though. I guess. Oh, it's probably, um. The one in the woods. Is, is that doing anything in particular? Did it. Did it change? Do I need more than one? Can I sort of shimmy it up there? Is that? Oh, must offer it to the spring. So, oh, and that was just shining under its own lighting effects. So, dunk. Okay. What does this do? Oh, a prize. So I know that they're the horns of the dragons too. I wonder if those give you anything when you put them in the spring. I could see it being like um another shrine comes out of the top of the mountain. That being said, I'm glad I did that because it was cool and I wanted a teleport spot here. I'm pretty sure at one point I said some sort of noise about getting the Death Mountain Tower unlocked. I, I still fully intend to do that eventually. This wasn't, like, vegan percent doesn't include not going to Death Mountain. That's not one of the restrictions. Oh, I was, like, almost pumped for it not to be a blessing. I want to do some stupid shrines. Cool. Of course it is. Um... Goodbye. That took a little longer than it should have, I think. Well, nifty. I want to do the other ones. And I still have the other scale in my inventory, right? Or did I use that to upgrade? No, I still have it, so... I guess I'll be wanting to get more eventually. No, no, I want to double check. Was it Feroche or was it a different dragon? that I needed for upgrade. I think Feroche is the Courage one, so it would sort of make sense that the Link's tunic upgrades with it. Thanks, you too.